I am Professor Vishnu Sanavne. I am presenting cost effectiveness of coal fired boiler and controlling its pollutants. I am Professor Vishnu Sanavne from ASMS College of Engineering, Pune. This is the International Faculty Development Program. In this world, here this energy demand is from the coal, oil, gas, nuclear, hydrogen sources and here the coal fired power plant technology and pulverized fuels here the large amount of gases are evolved through the in the atmosphere hence here this air pollution due to the coal fired boilers the air pollutants are acid rain ozone layer depletion transmission emission climate change and visibility these are the harmful here air pollution from these coal fired boilers here the 41 percent is of world power generation by using the coal fired power plants hence we can calculate the ratio of emission of green gases other than the carbon dioxide here these are the 95 to 99 percent is of total greenhouse gas emissions here the air pollutants from the countermeasures nitrogen oxides, sulfur oxide, soot particles. Here, how to improve these combustion methods and how to improve these exhaust gases. Here, this is the COVID-19 lockdown impact on fuel consumption is provided. Next, we are discussing the technology of controlling pollutants by urea to improve the combustion methods here again one method that is the technology of controlling pollutants by scrubber technology here this flue gas desulfurization system for controlling acid gases and this is the advanced technology here whenever we are applying the rules for sulfur dioxide emissions when for the coal firings and residuals oil firings and distillate oil firings here when this rule will, will be applied against this sulfur dioxide emission here the next that is the this this coal control options for coal fired boilers the levels what will be the control to the nitrogen oxides carbon monoxides here the next that is the conversion factors for the constants what is the ratio of carbon dioxide to the carbon this conversion from these gallons or the barrel of fuels and barrels per liter here we can discuss the we can calculate we can see the emission of calculator for this event here the this when this simulation this is the simulation technique here from this national ambient air quality standards these carbon dioxide carbon monoxides lead nitrogen dioxide here the levels are given the average time is are given here this slide volatile organic compound conversion curve when the percent 15 percentage of excess air is evolved what will happen we can see the next that is the analysis of pollutants by the carbon monoxide ozone then sulfur dioxide lead nitrogen dioxide and what are the moderate serious and here we can explain here this is the national ambient air quality standards with this pollutants carbon monoxides nitrogen dioxide sulfur dioxide the pm lead and ozone here the ozone non attainment areas from the major source of levels attainment we can see this this is the attainment marginal moderate serious severe and extreme these are the ozone layers we can calculate the cost effectiveness the example that is the uncontrolled emission rate controlled emission rate and the cost of emission control methods we can calculate this these are the national ambient air quality standards again we are discussing as per the naaq reviews this is the one historical example we have shown then we can calculate the emission of industrial boilers the to determine the annual nitrogen dioxide emission for industrial boilers three terms must be known nitrogen emission maximum related powers here 
this one company is retiring due to the high coal demand by the 1.5 percent this is the one example of this world then right this is the one outcomes outcome that is the summarize the calculation of annual emission for the industrial boilers calculate the overall effectiveness of this boilers apply the knowledge of national ambient quality here this is the thank you i am showing the cost effectiveness of coal fired boiler